हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन स्टैंडर्ड सेवन नंबर फोर्टीन चैप्टर इज सिमेट्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट सिमेट्री वॉट इज द सिमेट्री हियर इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्री सिमेट्री इज हैविंग वन साइड दैट एग्जैक्टली मीर द अदर्स इट मीन्स इफ हियर वी कैन सी दिस फिगर ऑफ बटरफ्लाई हियर वी कैन सी दिस ऑन ओवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड बोथ पार्ट्स आर सेम इट मीन्स हियर वी ड्रो द वर्टिकल लाइन एंड दैट रिप्रेजेंट एज अ सिमेट्रिक लाइन सो सिमेट्री इज हैविंग वन साइड that exactly mirror the other side both sides becomes equal next is a line of a symmetry divides the symmetrical shape into half here you can see this figure symmetry line a vertical line divides this figure into a half and here you can see this triangle in this shape a symmetrical vertical line is also divides a triangle into a half next is an object may have more than one line of symmetry here you can see this figure in this figure we have a vertical line horizontal line and many are diagonals so some of examples of a polygon in this shape objects may have more than one line of symmetry now we take a line of symmetry a line that divides a figure into two parts such that when the figure is folded along the line the two parts of the figure coincides it means whenever we take a line symmetry of a figure divided into a two parts here you can see this square shape whenever we draw a line symmetry vertical line symmetry these two parts becomes a uh, in, divided into a two parts and becomes the same here we can see this figure start in this figure we whenever we take a symmetry line a vertical line row draw a vertical line the figure divided into two parts and both parts becomes the same so the line symmetry means whenever we divide the figure into two parts both parts becomes a coincide becomes it means both parts becomes a same here you can see this figure in this figure both parts become a same because of a we draw a line symmetry and in this figure of a triangle we draw a symmetrical line then both parts become a same here are the another example of a line of a symmetry so what are the line of a symmetry in the, our first figure we can see this uh, this is the isosceles triangle in this triangle we have a both sides are equal that's why in a isosceles triangle a one line of a symmetrical we can draw the one line of a symmetrical in our second figure here is a quadrilateral so in quadrilateral we draw the four line of a symmetry next is a five Five line of a symmetry. Here the figure is a pentagon. So in a pentagon, we draw the five line of a symmetry. Here you can see this figure. In this figure of a triangle, we know that this is a uh, equilateral triangle. So in a equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. That's why we draw the three line of a symmetry. And in this figure of square, so square is a four line of a symmetry. So these all are the example of a line of a symmetry. now we take a line of a symmetry in our first example we can see this the equilateral triangle we know that in a equilateral triangle all are, all sides are the equal so in equilateral triangle we can draw the three line of a symmetry one is a, a vertical line and other two are as a diagonal next is a square we know that square has a four point so we can draw a four line of a symmetry so square has a four line of a symmetry next is hexagon we know that hexagon has a six point 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in a hexagon shape we draw the six line of a symmetry next is isosceles triangle we know that in isosceles triangle both sides are equal that's why we can write we can draw only one line of a symmetry because both sides are equal that's why we can draw only one line of a symmetry and that line is a obviously a always a vertical line because whenever it parts, lower parts both are not becomes a same that's why in isosceles triangle we can draw only one line of a symmetry and that is a vertical line next is a rectangle we draw a two line of a symmetry in a rectangular shape because in rectangle shape we have a length and breadth both are as a different measurement that's why rectangle in a rectangle shape we can draw only two line of a symmetry and next is a parallelogram in a parallelogram there is no line of a symmetry because all sides are not give us the same uh, part or about the drawing of a symmetrical line that's why parallelogram has no line of a symmetry and next is a circle here we can see this circle lines of a symmetry circle in a circle there are infinite infinite lines of a symmetry passing through a center here you can see the center uh, we can draw the infinite line of a symmetry uh, in a circle here is the chart of a shape and the line of a 
symmetry lines of a symmetric first is a parallelogram we know that in a parallelogram we uh, can't draw a line of a symmetry so parallelogram has zero line of a symmetry second is a semicircle we know that in a semicircle here you can see this if a semicircle we draw this like semicircle like this so semicircle has a one line of a symmetry like this we can draw a one vertical line so semicircle has a one line of a symmetry next is a rectangle we know that rectangle has a two line of a symmetry next is equilateral triangle we know that in a equilateral triangle we draw the three line of a symmetry and in a isosceles triangle we draw the one line of a symmetry okay next is a square in a square we can draw the four line of a symmetry next is a regular pentagon we know that in pentagon we draw the five line of a symmetry and next is a regular hexagon in a hexagon we draw the six line of a symmetry and in a circle we know that in a circle we can draw the infinite lines of a symmetry now we take a new topic a, a rotational symmetry so in this symmetry a figure has a rotational symmetry it for it fits on itself more than once during a full turn it means in this of a symmetry rotational symmetry we have to turn the figure and that is rotation through 360 degree the rotation becomes a 360 degree and the number of the times it fits into itself it means we have to rotate this figure in into the angle of a 360 and whenever the figure the number of times is fits into itself it means whenever the figure becomes the same like first so this is called its order of a rotational symmetry so this is the definition of a rotational symmetry here you can see this figure first of all the first figure is a flower here we drew the vertical line and the this vertical line uh, represent as a symmetric line now we turn this figure as a one two and three times okay so this this times the flower figure the figure of the flower turn the uh, 19 degree uh, 180 degree and then after 360 degree so in this in this figure the flower figure is rotated 360 degree now our first figure and last figure both had become the same so it means the number of times it fits into itself the figure fits into itself that's why it is called the uh, rotis, uh, rotational symmetry Here we take another example of a line of a symmetry. In our first figure, you can, we can see these are three line of a symmetry. In an equilateral triangle, we can draw the one, two, and three, three line of a symmetry. Next is a four line of a symmetry. In our figure of square, in a square figure, we can draw the four line of a symmetry. One is horizontal, horizontal line. Second is vertical line, and other two are as a diagonal. In our next figure uh, figure is a regular pentagon in this figure we can draw a five line of a symmetry like this one two three four and five so in a pentagon we can draw the five line of a symmetry and last is a is the figure of a regular hexagon in hexagon we get draw the six line of a symmetry so this is are the polygons how can we uh, draw the line of a symmetry in polygons Here is another example of a rotational symmetry. Uh, first, we take a parallelogram. We know that in a parallelogram, the order of a rotational symmetry is 2. Because after a 360 degree rotate, after a 360 degree, we get the two uh, rotational symmetry. Next is the regular polygons with the sides. Polygon. We know that in a polygon, if we take a triangle, then the order of a rotational symmetry becomes uh, 3. Because in a triangle, we have a uh, 3 number of a uh, sides becomes a three so with n side it means uh, in the figure uh, that are n sides so a rot order of a rotational symmetry becomes n suppose we take a quadrilateral so in a quadrilateral number of a sides it's four that's why the order of order of a rotational symmetry becomes four in this figure here we uh, we know that in a pentagon the number of a sides is five so the order of a rotational symmetry becomes a 5 so in a regular polygon with an n sides uh, order of a rotational symmetry becomes n it means a number of uh, sides next is rhombus in a rhombus figure after the rotation of a 360 degree the order of a rotational symmetry becomes 2 next is a circle we know that in a circle there are infinite 
and uh, lines of a symmetry so in a circle order of a rotational symmetry becomes uh, unlimited it becomes uh, infinite next is trapezium we know that in a trapezium after a 360 turn after a rotate of a 360 turn we uh, can't get the same figure that's why uh, order of a symmetry order of a rotational symmetry in trapezium uh, shape is uh, none it means uh, zero and next is kite also in a kite shape after a 360 turn we can't get the same figure that's why order of a rotational symmetry in kite shape is none it means a zero here you have to note that when an object rotates its shape and size do not change here you can see this example here is a spinner uh, you can see this the when a object rotate its shape and size do not change here is the sp example of a spinner spinner is rotated but the shape and size do change okay next is the rotation turn an object about a fixed point here you can see this yellow yellow is a fixed point this fixed point is the center of a rotation so in this example of a spinner we can see you can see that the yellow colored dot is the center of a rotation here is the example of order of rotation first of all we take the block name is a b a b c d so a b c d first we take the block a b c d uh, like this then after we take a 19 degree position so after uh, turning a 19 degree the position after 19 degree is this here you can see this the horizontal here in the first figure the block is a horizontal block but after the turning a 19 degree the horizontal block becomes a vertical block okay next af uh, then after after 19 degrees so 19 degree plus 19 degree it becomes a 180 degree so after a position a 180 degree turn position is this here you can see this figure uh, c d a b the block becomes again horizontal block then after we again take a 19 degrees uh, turn so it becomes a 19 plus 19 plus 19 it becomes a 270 so position after 270 degrees turn it becomes a b c d a like a uh, vertical block then after again we take a 19 degrees turn so total turn becomes a position after 360 degree it becomes a total turn becomes a 360 degree so after a position after a, three, a 360 turn position will be like this a b c d so in our first figure and in our last figure after a 360 degree we can see this the both the figure becomes the same a b c d a b c d becomes a horizontal block here is the chart of figures and all the lines of a symmetry uh, now we take the order of a here you can see this order of a rotational symmetry so first figure is a square we know that whenever we take a square figure and then after we take this figure turn into a 360 degree so we get the same figure like a square so the order of a rotational symmetry is 4 in a square shape next is a parallelogram in a parallelogram we can draw the line of a symmetry 2 but after the rotation after a rotation of a 360 degree the parallelogram figure uh, becomes the same as the parallelogram that's why the number of a uh, order of a rotational symmetry becomes a 2 next is a rhombus here you can see this is a figure of a rhombus so in this figure of a rhombus we can say that after a 360 after the rotate of a 360 degree the order of a rotational system the order of a symmetry becomes a 2 next is a equilateral triangle in this type of a triangle after a rotation of a 360 degree the order of a rotational uh, symmetry becomes a 3 and next is a hexagon we know that in a hexagon the number of a line symmetry is 6 okay so the line symmetry becomes after a rotation of a 360 becomes a, a, a 6 next is a circle we know that circle has a unlimited it means infinite number of a line symmetry so after a rotation it also becomes order of a rotational symmetry is infinite